Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn all about hand swap chords. Eh? Those beautiful chords that you use to create beautiful endings. Okay, usually you just use one of these chords at the end of a song, but I wanted to give you an example of how many chords you can actually create with this. So um, the logic behind this chord is the same logic behind the D over F sharp chord. Okay, when you have D and you play two on the bass note with your thumb, okay, along with the D chord, you get D over F sharp. Okay? F sharp is the major third of D, okay? That's the note that creates D major, okay? If we were in minor, it would have been F. It would have been a minor third. So D minor can be played as D minor over F with one on the bass, okay? So it's the same logic, okay? You want to play the third of the chord, okay? Whether it's a major third or a minor third, you want to play it as your bass note, but you want to create space. You want to create a piano style chord where the piano player plays a chord and then adds a low bass note. So you can take D, you can play it here. You can play 7-7 seven, seven on strings 2 and 3, and then you get D add 9. Okay, so it's 0-7-7-0. Zero, seven, seven, zero. Okay? And then you take your picking hand and hammer on the F sharp. So you get D over F sharp. Or if you want the minor version, you can play six on the second string. So you get six and seven on strings two and three. And again, you play strings one, two, three, and four. Okay, this is D minor at nine. So now you're gonna hammer on F. One on the sixth string. Okay? And you get D minor over F. Now you can play it here. You can play you can play D add nine here. You can play ten and eleven on strings two and three. With F sharp. So it's D add nine over F sharp. How beautiful is that? And you can play D minor, okay, using 10 and 10 on strings 2 and 3. And hammer on F, okay? So... And you have the low bass note. Now, you can take a G chord, okay? okay? You can take that G over D chord I sometimes use, okay? It's a D shape on 7, okay? And we can play this chord, stretch all the way down to the G bass note. So it's a D shape on seven with the D strand. So it's G over D. You can hammer on the G bass. Okay? Or you can hammer on the third, the major third. Okay? Ah, sorry, I hammered on F sharp. Okay? And hammer on B. But that doesn't sound too good because you also have B right here. Okay, you can use your thumb and get a fatter note because it's the sixth rank. So here, in the case of G, you'd want to hammer on the actual bass note. So you can do G5. Okay, with 10 on the first rank. Okay? That would be a great ending for a G chord, uh, for a G song. Okay, a song in the key of G. Okay, so you can do... Something like this, just off the top of my head. Of course, um, in the moment, especially if you're playing finger style, it works a lot better, but you got the idea. Now, the same goes for A. Okay, now, A is a little bit different. 
because you'd want to play A over C sharp. And this is again, it's borderline, but it sounds great. Okay? Unlike G over B, the C sharp is a little bit of a fatter note. So A is the D shape on nine, and you can play it with the A bass. And then hammer on four on the A string. Okay, so it's okay. Now, um, if you want to um, to create a more sophisticated chord, you can do this. Okay, you can play A and then G on the bass, and that creates a seven. Okay, that's also a great ending. If you're really, really, really adventurous, you can play A over B. And then you get the ninth on the bass. But this is not for everyone's taste. And it really depends on the composition. But if you want A7, you can play G on the bass. So if you play it like this, it doesn't sound, you know, too hot. Sounds a little bit jazzy, but if you play it like this, it's interesting because of the space in between the notes. It's interesting, it creates an interesting color. So there you have it. The, the whole theory behind All these beautiful these beautiful two-handed chords the hand swap chord so now you know how to use it and why it exists you know the theory behind it as well so if you want uh, more of my help more structured help finger style help guitar help I have the break your boundaries course program Hey, check it out at lickandref.com slash courses, the Break Your Boundaries course program. Everything from ear training to finger style techniques to arrangement training to theory to scale, um, to, to scale deconstruction so you can learn scales without having to memorize patterns but really, really deeply understand scales and also intuitive composition and fretboard logic, fretboard vision seeing, visualizing music on the fretboard, understanding the guitar fretboard. It's all there in the Break Your Boundaries program. So check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.